Hey everyone, it's Angela Allen. Welcome back to The Handmade Homestead. Well, today is day number 31 in the Every Bit Counts Challenge, the last day of the challenge, and we've done a video every day for 31 days. Today is no different. We're coming in strong for the last day too, and today, soup's on. I'm still trying to use those tomatoes coming out of the garden. So today we're going to make a big batch of soup. We're doing roasted tomato soup today. And the first thing we're going to do is get the bread I just pulled out of the hot oven, buttered up and ready because we're going to need it for leftovers for lunch. Almost all of this batch will go in the freezer. I'm not personally big on tomato soup but my husband loves it with a grilled cheese sandwich or just with some hearty sourdough. So we're making it for him. We're gonna get it going, get it frozen, and it'll be ready whenever he's in the mood for some. This is bone broth. I make bone broth every chance I get. I never throw bones away. I stash them in the freezer and then once or twice a month, I make a big batch of bone broth and stash that in the freezer too. And that's what we're going to add in place of water if I need any extra liquid. So we're going to start by cutting every ripe tomato in half that I can find in my house. I think I filled up three big trays here. They've also got jalapeno and regular sweet peppers, green onions, and celery stalks and leaves on top. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, and then they were roasted in the oven about 400 degrees for more than an hour. I wanted these really caramelized and they were. I loaded them all up into my Nutribullet RX. I love this machine. I added about a third of the batch each time and then bone broth to make it liquidy enough to be a soup concentrate. I was going for really thick, really concentrated soup for the freezer. Again, just like if you opened a can of soup, you have to add water to this to make it drinkable. It's a very thick sauce, almost like tomato paste. And that's exactly what I was looking for. I did add basil to this as well. But you can see how that's a really thick sauce. So I measured it out in about three cups per freezer bag. Squeezed the air out by hand and then just sealed the bags with the vacuum sealer. These bags are tough and they will protect them for as long as they need to in the freezer. I think altogether I made four bags of soup, plus I put a serving size container in the refrigerator and I got all of that concentrate from about a hundred tomatoes. It was crazy. It was a lot of tomatoes for just that small amount, but I did concentrate it. It'll be easier to store that way because I didn't want to can it adding those vegetables really prevented me from being able to water bath can it. I labeled them all and I put them in the freezer. I also put eight bags of diced green tomatoes in the freezer as well in two cup serving sizes. Well, that ends day 31 in the every bit counts challenge for 2024. You've been with me all along. Thank you so much. From now on, you're going to see me do one or two or maybe three videos a week. You can find them right here on my channel. So please like and subscribe. It helps so much. And thank you. We'll see you soon.